Can you give me some background on yourself? Yes, I'm a fourth generation uh, Great Falls or Montana native on my mom's side. My uh, grandparents homesteaded in Malta, went broke in the dirty 30s. Grandpa's first wife died, his child died. He married Maria Maher, a distant relative of our first territorial governor. He had seven children. Uh, they've all done well. well one, four of them went to World War II at the same time from Malta. Um, my dad is from Great Falls. Grandpa was here. Uh, I'm here. My dad went to Great Falls High School. My kids went to Great Falls High School. Uh, so I, I'm a local boy. I know the community. So Patrick, my next question is, why are you running for school trustee for the Great Falls Public School District? Uh, my daughter's a teacher. I think we've got a wonderful educational system in Great Falls. I think we're better than the national average by leaps and bounds. And, and I care about uh, the community and I hope I can uh, help out. It's a volunteer job and I just want to see that we have uh, good teachers and do the best job we can raising uh, the children. There's a poem, let others laugh and jest. A life of service is the best, you know, so yeah, I, I want to help. I don't know a lot, but I'm willing to learn. What do you think you can bring to the, to the position? Uh, a sense of humor. I know the community. I understand a little bit of uh, what teachers have to, have to go through and do and the challenges ahead. And, and I'm 65 years old. And I do have a law degree, and I understand a little of the uh, interplay of uh, government and organizations. And so I, I'm hoping I can I give that, that gifting to the uh, community as well. Mm -hmm. My next question is, from your standpoint, what are the main challenges for the Great Falls Public School District? The uh, school district is only as good as the teachers. The teachers are the first line resource. I want to do all that I can to equip and empower and motivate the teachers. And, and some of the teachers, I could tell you some stories, are just absolutely stellar with uh, what they've done with the children, including my own children. You know, uh, my middle son is a lawyer. Uh, he went to Great Falls High. Uh, he owes a lot of his ability to the teachers there. I have another son, I told this at the school board meeting. Uh, he wanted to be a pilot, but he didn't like math, but he liked wrestling. And there's a teacher named Michelle Brown. She told David, if you will give up wrestling, I will tutor you. And uh, he gave up wrestling, and she had the key to unlock his heart. He learned how to do math, physics, trigonometry, and things like that. And then when he graduated, he realized that you need math to understand navigation, astronomy, points, all of those things. And I don't think he would have been able to do that without the help of his math teacher, who went above and beyond the call of duty uh, to, uh, to educate him. And so that's the kind of teachers I see in this uh, school system. And I don't mean to exclude others. There's many, many fine teachers and principals here. Proposed $98.8 million levy for school facilities district-wide is set to go in front of voters in October. What are your thoughts about it? When I signed up for this job, I didn't realize there was such a big bond issue. My teacher daughter says, Dad, we've got good teachers. Um, the school system, the buildings are aging. You know, if you're going to support education, support that. Uh, I support education I and uh, we need to improve our, our system, no doubt about that. Um, the amount of the money that is being spent and what I'm trying to look at in it, I'm still up in the air. I've got some serious questions. We put, uh, we paid $67,000 and I can show you this to have a billings firm tell us it's going to cost $94 million for the retrofit or the expansion on all of these things. If Great Falls people are going to pay for this bond, which they are, you know, we're the local taxpayers, I want to see as much of the money spent locally, you buy locally, 
I, I wish they would have had local architects and engineers do the estimates. That's just one thing that I'm starting to study on and learn.